So now for the next part of our CloudFest video, we're talking to uh, Søren von Parchmin. You have a dual identity uh, when it comes to CloudFest and MariaDB. What are your two roles? Yes, very good question. Um, I was long-term the CEO of CloudFest, and since two years, um, I'm the so-called chairman of the advisory board. In real life, that means that I'm in charge of a strategy. So I'm already thinking ahead to 24 and 25. And I'm in charge of um, agenda as how to involve our um, most important sponsors and partners in the agenda and in our topics, which we yearly basically reinvent. And, and on the, the other side, role, which is outside of Maria DB. Exactly. And now the most uh, like interesting part, my dual role with uh, now coming to Maria DB Foundation is I'm the CIO of uh, Maria DB Foundation since September 2022. So this was also for me, you know, in this dual role, like the first thing where we had many meetings, customer facing where I got the feedback on yeah, what we started since I joined MariaDB Foundation, but more on that maybe later. Yes, so um, let, let us first say a couple of things about the first role, your, your, your CloudFest role. So uh, a couple of short questions. This is at an amusement park, is that right? That is absolutely correct. Um, it's the largest uh, um, amusement park in Europe called Europa Park in the southwest Germany, close to the border of France and Switzerland. Um, and we basically we rent the whole park, the whole Europa Park for one week, including all the theme park hotels. How many people do yeah, you get? We talk about yeah, um, last week, uh, over the course of the week, we had some 8,000 plus attendees from 8, more than 000. 90 countries. 90 countries. So uh, I always thought that FOSDEM, which also claims 8,000 people, that that was the biggest thing that you could get. And that's all over Brussels. The Brussels University is, is crammed with people. And this was the same kind of impression. But the the, the, the attendees here were clearly not developers of databases and developers of open source software. So it's called CloudFest. What's the typical attendee like here? Mm -hmm. Our typical attendees are cloud service provider, managed service providers, uh, system integrators, and what we call internal IT departments. So let's say a company like SAP, who does internal hosting for many, many divisions and departments of SAP. So um, we have these mass market service providers like a GoDaddy or local champions such as Yonos or Web in Indonesia or Tachil in Dubai. And this from all countries basically in the world, you know, from Bhutan to Brazil, like all, all these like local champions are, are, are present at, uh, uh, and gather together in CloudFest. And you say gathered, uh, are present and gathered together. I heard there was a pandemic going on a couple of years. So, so how did that affect you? Was this the first one after the pandemic, or or what was it? What did you do? Yeah, yeah. We 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 basically we didn't have any physical event for two years. That was a tough time, not not only because of let's say lost revenue. But, but also for the team, you know, to, to get motivated, you know, to stay motivated through that time. And virtual events are no substitute for that in, in no way, uh, especially if you organize an event like CloudFest, you know, which, which is extremely crazy. Um, so we had an event actually last year, which, which was amazing, but back then it was still the mask obligatory. Um, half of the attendees came back with, uh, uh, COVID, you know, uh, so we, we, like in slang language, the um, CloudFest 22 is called the COVID Fest, you know, among um, all the attendees we, um, who gathered it back then. 
But I mean, it, it, to everyone, it was great to have her come back. I mean, everyone loved it, you know, to, to have a chance to gather again. It was the first big event in Germany back then. And um, we, we got this extra license, you know, from Europa Park to be a test candidate, you know, to come back to normality. Otherwise, it would have maybe been even three years without CloudFest. So luckily, it was only two. So this was my first CloudFest, and I can tell anybody looking at this that this was huge. There was definitely no problem of people saying, well, last year it was COVID Fest, so we didn't come. It felt like very much a, a, a normal event, like there had been no no COVID. You could see one mask here and another there, but basically it it, it was back to normality and 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 the normality which we where where the feeling was we were never really away. So I quite enjoyed. Yes. So what was and your with, and a little bit with humbleness, maybe even yes, you know, yes. like humbleness to. To, to have this opportunity again, you yes, know, so that true. was, you clearly see that in the eye of the people, yeah. Yes, 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 and so you had, uh, so you had, basically this was a conference like like others where there's a, a track or a number of tracks going on with presenters and then there's exhibitors and all of that, so uh, do you have any numbers in your head about how many presenters uh, you, you had at this event, just to give the viewer a bit of a idea of the magnitude of this? Mm -hmm. Yes. So in total, we, we had four stages this year, uh, three main days, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, program from 9 or 9.30 to 6 p.m. in the evening. Uh, so two main stages and then two what we call CloudFest Academy stages where some of our larger partners are making in-depth sessions, you know, about certain subjects like no sales pitches, clearly, let's say tech talks, uh, like which are interested for this core audience, you know, of uh, CloudFest, which we are serving. Then in addition to that, we had on uh, Monday on our day zero, basically the day before the official event, we had um, a WP day. So um, this was... Yes. Um, like four or five yes hours around WordPress. And even before that, we, we had a hackathon going on. But going into uh, the numbers, uh, we talked about 200 speakers, uh, 150 exhibitors, um, plus WordPress day, another 30 speakers. And hackathon was 11 projects and 127 participants. And you managed to get two absolutely perfect speakers. One was Boris Becker and the other one was Monty. So tell, tell, exactly. so tell us about, about uh, how, how you got Boris Becker and how that turned out. Yes, that's a good, that's a good point. I, I think overall, like Maria de B Foundation had, had an amazing exposure, starting with a hackathon and ending with uh, Monty's keynote, which I think was the third large third last um, session of uh, of a conference. So the idea was the following. This whole Thursday afternoon, I, I put it under the theme, Our Heroes. So there's a couple of different kind of heroes you can have. Um, like Christian, our CEO, he made a survey um, like a couple of weeks ago um, on LinkedIn. What are, or what type of heroes or what type of speakers our audience like to see and a lot of people were thinking celebrities no that was not the case the vast majority was about like 60 or 70 percent were asking for the industry heroes the inventors of dot 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 you know the, the ones who wrote the protocols of the early internet the ones you know to have this story to tell how the internet got started. And um, Monty is obviously one of our heroes. You know, it's like, if you mention Maria DB and Monty, like everyone at CloudFest knows who he is. So he's in a way a much bigger hero than Boris Becker for this certain audience we have. On the other side, it's always nice, you know, it's the last day of a conference. Everyone is tired from the conversations at the booth, at the meetings. So 
it's always nice to have also a sports day in between. You know, this was a little controversial for Germany. It was one of the first appearances. So it was nice for people to watch. But, but really, like this audience came to the room because of Monty, you know, or Paul Vixi, the co-inventor of DNS. This is why these people were sitting in the room. Right. So uh, you have been with uh, Cloudfest since the beginning, or you've created it. What were, were, uh, were you surprised about anything this year? Was, was there something uh, which was different that you hadn't expected? Um, uh, good question. Um, I mean, we, we were already before overwhelmed by the number of registrations. So, so we, like two or three weeks before the event, you have a very, very feeling how successful it's going to be. Yeah. And like, we already knew this is going to be the best ever from all angles, financial result, number of people whatsoever. Uh, so we already knew that. And um, I mean, and then if you have a show going on, it's about um, how many apps you have. Yeah. And uh, this year, there was everything was smooth. Like, I mean, there's something small here, there, which is not working, but it was so smooth, like in no other year before. And I mean, this combination was even for me um, very surprising.